Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial on the DMX server in Pangolin Beyond. In this video, we're going to go over the basic idea of how to use the server and how to set it up. The main thing to understand about Beyond Server Mode is it is designed to access the projection zones the way a lighting fixture would be controlled. With that in mind, the server is a way to access the core functions of Beyond. This type of control is different versus a live performance control solution a laser designer or operator would be used to. Another thing to understand is that the server uses a different playback system that is isolated from the one Q, one per, and multi-modes. Each projection zone assigned to server has its own Q player. DMX control is the only way to access these parameters. There are no overrides accessible in the software for these parameters either. The server also does not count against your 4-in, 4-out DMX subsystem setup. Once you have your Beyond Station on your ArtNet network with your lighting desk, we can start to set up our specific projection zones to be controlled as an individual fixture on our lighting desk. In Beyond, go to Settings and Projection Zones. Select the zone you wish to control. I will select the main graphics zone. Then click on the Advanced tab. On the bottom of this page, we have the DMX Server section. The first box gives us the option of three different modes or channel settings for the zone. For this tutorial, I'll use the Classic FB3 approach. Note that the Classic FB3 style mode will only allow you to access the first 10 pages. If you need to use any pages past the first 10, it is recommended that you use mid or full. Should you need a Beyond Profile for your lighting console, go to the link below to download the profile you need. Next we're going to assign an address. I'll keep the base address of 1. The base address will be the DMX channel address that you would assign a fixture in your DMX chain. Next, we need to make sure the projection zone is assigned to the correct DMX subnet and universe. Physically, we think of a universe count of 1 through 256. However, in an ArtNet network, we work in groups of 16. So for the first 16 universes, the subnet would be at 0. And then the next 16 universes, the subnet count will increase to 1. And the subnet would increase by 1 after every 16 universes. For our first universe, we start at 0. If we were using universe 16, you will have a 15 in the box. Let's go ahead and assign another zone to be controlled. This time I'll use secondary graphics. I'll use the same profile and assign an address of 17. Once finished assigning control to your zones, click OK. Next, click DMX in. Once this is enabled, our DMX zone servers are ready and awaiting DMX signal from your lighting controller. On your lighting controller, select the channels that will enable access, brightness, zoom, and visible points and bring them to full. Set your position X and Y values to 50%. Next, we'll select a page and a queue. We are now controlling these zones with the DMX server using ArtNet. Any questions or comments on this feature, be sure to email them to us and be sure to like this video and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching!